So of course, the when you you the based on the you develop everything, now you can run it. It's an automation now, basically. If we add the test, as he added the test result on the one, he, he can run it and he can see the pass or fail. That's the call the running, and it's called the collection runner. Postman provide the functionality. It's called the collection runner. So we are going to run it. It will run. Let's run it. So before you run it, automation has a different design. You in this the same design you can do the manual testing and automation testing. But if you want to do solely automation, then you create the different collection that is only for the automation. So we are going to do the two things now. The duplicate this collection, please. Duplicate this collection, yeah, three dot. Duplicate this, okay, and just give the name, automation or uh, authorization, just the automation. Okay, because that's the design part. Okay, and then remove all the function, remove other negative one because I don't need the negative because I did not do anything with the negative. Delete it. Done. That's it. My design is done. This is simple. It's my brand. Okay. Now let's run it. We will be the dot on the. We are going to run because everything is working. It's a touch latch, right? We did no. We do not need to touch anything. Everything should work. So click, click the three dot on the automation, the authentication and automation, the authorization. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, before that, we have to actually get this faker.js actually. Uh, it I didn't save this. That's oh, why it did didn't come it. here. You need to save so it. Just, uh, if you yeah. did not save it, things will not work. <laughs> Makes sense. Remember this, yeah. Uh, okay, so now uh, let's go to the. Okay, let me call up this. Okay, yeah. click on these three dots. Uh, then click on the run collection. Yep. So let's just stay there. This is the postman providing by default. Okay. So here is the number. So many things run manually. Is schedule run, automated run through the CLI. Run manually means you are running here. Schedule runs means postman also provide the monitoring. They have a web interface, run the monitoring. Many company buy, so you can run their environment. You do not need to have the Jenkins. You do not need anything. They charge money based on the, like the, the times you are running all your API. So if you have a, like a, a 200 API, you need to run 10,000 times. You have a two option. One is, you can run, set up your own Jenkins server. The cloud apps can do this, or company can buy it and the company pay to the postman. It will be running itself, flawless. Again, this decision comes from the company, not you. So let's run manually. Another is CLI, this, that is actually through the Jenkins, like we run, we'll be running through the Jenkins. And the next is iteration, means number of time I want to run. That's the iteration. Delay. If I want to run, if there is a 50 request, if I want to run 50 times, in between each of the 50, like the request, request one to request two, I can give a second or the two second. So that it can be pause and run. Pause can run. So that's the iteration. And of course, we'll be doing the data driven as well today to be done. And then actually click that bounce place. And then actually you can have a multiple, keep the variable value and save cookies as well. That's based on the application. You have to select this, but now run 10 times, actually run 100 times and then give the one second break because we need the data. We need the data in the database so we can run the database, uh, database query. So run the 100 times please and give the one second break. So we need the 200 second. Well, yeah, I don't know. One 1,000 milliseconds, maybe two. Okay, go ahead. Run, run. So it is running, and you will be seeing everything, all the test. If your if your request does not have a test, then you will see nothing. Is run. That's the reason. Before you run the collection, make sure you add the automation. Let's run it. We pause it. So it is running, right? Still running? Yeah. So it is running. 
And you can click the console by the way here. So let's continue. Click the console from the bottom. In the console, it shows. In the console, it shows each time. So it is showing the error, whatever it is getting, it is showing you. You can, you can pause the, pause your run. You can stop your run, anything you can do. Again, this is the Postman is providing interface to run the collection from the Postman, good? But basically this is the things, it goes to the, the Jenkins or the, or the another CI CD tools so that the, after the new development is complete, your automation can run, which is we call the part of the CI CD. So it is running. So see, you, you become familiar with the environment, you become familiar with the variables and you learn how to create the variable and how to call the variable, right? And you learn how to actually the capture the dynamic data from the response body is storing in the variable, touchless, right? So you learn all of this. This all actually uh, the developer does, DevOps engineer does, QA does. They, 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 they do different way, but they do it daily basis. Make sense? How many times is it running? So three errors we found so far, right? Not bad. 57 times. So let's pause it. Okay. So you see this? So one time we got failure, right? So iteration 100 times, duration five minutes, 20 second, and the all test 376, this is the one, four. And then a staging environment and that source runner means who run this. You can run again automate the run because you can schedule it. You can export the result as well to verify or give your manager or give your team as well, because that's the important. If you say fail, do not just say it. You export it and you, you give it to them. They will review your test result and they will, they will, they means developer or the DevOps engineer. And they will look at it and they will find out why it failed. They will start debugging the why it is failing, that everything is looking good. Good, so you can see all the, all the details here. And this is the postman own functionality collection runner. 